So what I saw in Beirut in 1981 and 82 were two things. Number one, the Israeli army tried to kill the leadership of PLO and Fatah. Because at that time, that was Hamas. That was the armed resistance against the occupation and the colonization. But then in 1982, Israel invaded Lebanon, went all the way up to West Beirut, besieged West Beirut, as they have been doing with Gaza for the last 16 years. They cut the water, they cut the fuel, they cut the medical supplies, they cut the food supplies, as they are doing with Gaza. And they bombed West Beirut relentlessly, night and day, for the whole summer of 1982, in order to achieve two things. To kill the leadership of the armed resistance, as they are doing in Gaza now. They called them terrorists. So in 82, I saw two important things, and I felt it, and I smelt it, and I, I touched it. The brutality of the Israeli attacks on civilians. We were wading in blood. I was, for the first time in my life, lifting away amputated arms and legs from young Palestinians and Lebanese, and they showed no mercy. They bombed ambulances, they bombed hospitals, they bombed apartment buildings, they bombed the water pipeline, the sewage system, everything in the civilian society that upholds life. And I was shocked. I came from Norway. I was pretty naive. I'm politically very active, but at the same time, I thought there were rules of engagement. Not at all. Not for the Israelis, supported by the US and Pentagon.